God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to the 11th year anniversary of Sunday School Insights, which began as This Week in the Bible. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us. And Sunday School Insights begins now. This week's lesson is entitled, Jesus' Response to Dire Need. Our scriptures are found in the book of John, chapter 11, verses 1 through 16. In this lesson, Jesus receives word that his good friend Lazarus is sick. And it has only been a few days since Jesus left that region to avoid being stoned by the religious leaders who hated him. You'll notice that I didn't say that he left out of fear. By the time that Jesus actually gets the message from Mary and Martha, Lazarus is dead. Yet, Jesus turns to his disciples and says, that this sickness is not unto death. Jesus then says that all of this is for God's glory, which will happen through his son and his word. After getting the troubling news and speaking to his disciples about the situation, he waited two whole days without making any move to indicate what he would do about it. And then suddenly, Jesus announced, Let's head to Judea again. Afraid for his life, his disciples reminded him, Master, it hasn't been that long since the Jews in that area tried to stone you. Are you sure that you want to go back there? Jesus spoke in code telling the scared disciples that God gives assignments and windows of time with divine help so that those works can be accomplished. If a servant of God moves in the knowledge of this, he or she is covered, and God will allow them to see and to know what their enemies are up to. But if a man or woman should try to do a work by leaning to their own understanding, they can expect to either run into trouble or that the enemy will find them. Then Jesus told them that Lazarus is asleep, but that he was headed back to wake him up. The disciples didn't understand and said, Sleep is good for his recovery. So why go all the way back to a dangerous area just to wake him? Jesus then made it plain, saying, Lazarus is dead. And it's a good thing that I wasn't still there, because things would have gone differently than what's about to happen, and you would not have believed. Believe what? What was Jesus talking about? The disciples still didn't understand. Their focus was on the safety of Jesus. But Jesus just told them that he would be safe and that there was something that they needed to see in order to believe it. 
Thomas, trying to rally the disciples in unity and loyalty, said, Let's go with him, and if he should die, then we will also. But Jesus didn't ask anyone to die for him. He came to die for us so that we can live. And he was about to show himself strong as the restorer of life when he got to Bethany. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channels. Please make sure to give some devotional time to our new teaching series called Understanding the Tithe. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.